Jennifer Wang and I'm going to attend Columbia University in the fall with a plan to double major in creative writing and computer science. And uh, I recently graduated from McDowell High School and acquired the Wonton Foods Achievement Scholarship from Chinese Dollars for Scholars. And this scholarship will really help me pursue my future goals of becoming a published author and a software engineer. And perhaps if I were to go to graduate school, I would go for computer science. And also on the side, just like I'm doing now, I would be writing novels under the genres of science fiction and fantasy. And because of this, a lot of people ask me why I'm going on two seemingly divergent paths. And the best answer I can give them is that I believe that these paths can actually overlap a little bit. Because storytelling is in the world everywhere around us, and media is saturated with technology. And I think that finding the overlap between creative writing and computer science can be pretty vital in understanding the world around us. And I've already discovered one of these combinations, um, which is digital interactive fiction. Digital interactive fiction can be best analogized as a choose-your-own-adventure game told through virtual media. And it requires both creative writing skills and computer science skills in order to create this kind of game. And I think other combinations of creative writing and computer science can definitely be explored more in the future. And I think that for digital interactive fiction, uh, my favorite thing about it is its pursuit of inclusive perspectives through a variety of moral, social, and personal dilemmas. And I think that if a regular linear story can express really well human emotion, then a non-linear and interactive story can also really express well human reasoning. And I think that understanding human reasoning, especially through a variety of lenses, can really help readers um, acquire a more open-minded understanding of the world, and perhaps even a multicultural understanding of the world, depending on the story. Now, outside of writing and reading and computer science, uh, my high school career has been dominated by uh, my extracurricular activities. I was the president of my school's academic decathlon team, and it was probably my hardest leadership position yet. So I had to um, lead, teach, and run entire meetings um, on a tight schedule before a competition uh, in order for my teammates to learn the information they needed to know in order to actually do well at the competitions. And we were kind of behind in terms of the knowledge that um, collectively our group knew. So I really had to catch my teammates up. And it was a really tough but really rewarding experience to help other people out. And if you're a high school student watching this right now, um, I commend you for being probably one of the brightest students, among the brightest students that we have today, to solve future issues. And although it might not feel like we can make massive changes right now, um, as you know, young, uh, young adults um, and just not even having a college degree yet, we may not feel like we can do much in the world. But for now, I, we just need to focus on um, how can I be myself? How can I be my best self? And if you can help people along the way, then don't be afraid to do it. Be your best self and help others so that they can uplift you in return. Uh, I received the Wonton Foods Achievement Scholarship from Chinese Dollars for Scholars along with the other scholarship recipients. We are really proud to receive um, the help from this organization and I thank all the sponsors and everybody who has supported us along the way. Thank you so much for being there for us and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope everybody has a wonderful day and thank you.